Okay, yeah, I'll rap on this if I want to They keep asking me what I'm going to do No wonder why I've been stressing It's just a lot of shit that I'm going through My family ain't really been talking for real We disconnected, no talking All of my time has been spent on music That's why you won't see me What is up guys, this is your boy Jason right here and um, yeah, today I'm actually going to show you how I sync my tutorials, this and that. Uh, yeah, of course how I sync my tutorials, oh my god, this is like the sixth attempt of me trying to do this tutorial, fuck it. Um, how I sync my clips, and yeah, what I always like to do is when I have a clip, I want to, you know, put it in its own composition and find where he shoots, make a mark. If you don't know how to make a mark, it's basically the star on the numpad. So, yeah, this is how you can make like billions of fancy marks. Uh, delete this marker. And uh, find also the point where he spins in the kill cam where you start spinning. Uh, name this KC. You name a mark by uh, right clicking, settings, and then you just, you know, can leave a comment. Um, KC. So there's the kill cam and where he shuts on the kill cam. That's just, I don't know, some organization stuff I like to do. Now let's drag this over here, perfect. And um, yeah, first of all, I like to find where I want the uh, where I want the shot to be. So this is gonna be here. Um, I'm just gonna split the layer using uh, uh, Control Shift D and trim this up to here. Um, now on this one, uh, I would I would be having this shot twice or I would just you know um, yeah I would just have it on two frames so I'm gonna right click time time stretch and stretch factor up to 100 or 2 so when you know just just so I get the just so I don't have the shot like on two frames and now we're gonna use Twixter um, I have my own Twixter preset where there's possibly physically no more possible if you want this I don't know you better go and buy my editing pack but I'm not gonna advertise that shit again um it's always different on clip and or kill cam so i'm gonna start on the clip with um these values so i like to use uh, 250 i mean at least it works for this clip now i've actually tried to do this tutorial about i don't know five six times so i'm just gonna roll with this these values and um i want to make the lower keyframe in between of my two beats uh, I want to I'm, I'm just gonna control um, I'm just gonna select these two and control C control V on all my beats uh, to paste them again and now I want to drag the lower keyframe right in the middle of the beats <coughs> select all of these and press F9 to easy ease hold shift and F3 and go right here in the graph editor to select the lower keyframes and take these splines and drag them all the way to the left and to the right. <coughs> now that's okay, just for now. Uh, for the top ones, uh, we want to do the opposite thing. We just want to take these splines and drag them completely to the middle, as near as possible to the keyframe. Maybe even drag those a little bit down, just like this, because we don't want the kicks, uh, like the, the fast speed thingies, to, um, you know, to, to be that long, it, it, it looks shit, trust me. Uh, another tip, don't, don't please go below 50 because this will drop frame rates and that's not what you want. You'll be with a frame rate that's below 29.97 and that just, if, except, I mean, especially on YouTube, that will just look shit. Um, I'm actually gonna deselect the audio for now. So that's it for the clip basically, but, and this is a problem that pretty often occurs, uh, this is not lined up, so we can see that there's like over half a spin right here that is missing, and what I want to do is actually go into this empty space right here, so I get this kind of cursor, and move it over, so I get this, and now, uh, if I go to the beginning again of the clip, I'll see that there's not too much missing at all, oh, this is... Now, sometimes when you sync clips, you're just pretty, pretty lucky. Uh, see this? Uh, I got my first beat right here. He starts spinning. Second beat, he starts doing the running man. And on the clap, he starts doing the uh, shock charge cancel. Then he goes with the can swap and he shoots. Now on the shot, I actually also want to speed this up. 
want to go I don't know uh, be sure that you make a key uh, uh, a s one keyframe at uh, 100 because if not you're actually gonna uh, screw this entire thing up because the the whole time before uh, this part right here is gonna be played at 300 and then you will not have it lined up so make one keyframe at 100 um, press alt and uh, b left arrow key to move it to move the keyframe one to the left and now I don't know take about 300 300 is a good number and um, the reload I don't want it to be exactly in the middle like the lower keyframe I just want to have it like this a little bit more to the right uh, so I get you know so I just have a little bit more of the slow part and then just speed it up again and do this again and again now for the end I like to, to speed it up a little bit more 450 uh, you'll see why in a minute now it's the same thing all over again F9 or just this button right here to easy ease basically you just want to easy ease that's that's the most important thing easy ease the bottom ones to uh, the top ones too um, mainly the two in the middle because that it is a little bit longer uh, speed up right here is not wrong but um, these two, we just want to we just want to do the same thing. Hold Shift, by the way, to um, to keep them in in one line and just move them right and left and not up and down and I don't know what. So just hold Shift, drag these like that, and looks good. Now what I really don't like and doesn't looks good. It doesn't just it just doesn't flow right here. Is we get the shot and then he moves over and over and over and then here he actually just hits it so there he gets the hit mark thingy I wanna trim this clip and uh, go right here move it over a little bit so we get to see yeah militia is eliminated that's it now this won't be noticeable um, it's just a few frames and in the flow as edit as it is I mean here it is just speeding up uh, before the shot and it's speeding up after the shot so that just flows perfectly and then he does this and that and um, yeah looks good looks good perfect uh, something else I wanted to do yes pancrop let's do that pretty easy pancrop is actually done in like one or two minutes I uh, want to make a new adjustment there by pressing Control alt and Y and go right here and type in transform uh, drag that onto your adjustment layer I don't know call this like pumps or so uh, you can you can rename your layer any layer by just pressing enter on the keyboard and uh, go on the scale perfect one two three four I'm just gonna yeah, this is I'm just gonna roll with four um, and copy and paste this over all your beats again it's it's like with keyframes it's mostly the same procedure so yeah, you just want to copy and paste select all of them press f9 shift and f3 to go into the graph editor or just press this little button um and here i want to yeah, i want to make this a little bit yeah, just like this and the bottom ones i want to snap them over like here a little bit and make them a little bit bigger like there perfect now I got my pan crop also done. There's no wiggle, but we got the pan crop. Let's just do more black bars and spec ratio. Let's two or five. That's okay. It looks good. It's not too cinematic. And let's do a let's let's do a RAM preview. And that's that's actually it. So I hope that you actually enjoyed this. Leave a like to keep this in your playlist, uh, in your liked videos playlist, so you won't have to search this up. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you this little edit I've done, uh, like about an hour ago, where I actually wanted to do this tutorial, but then I was kind of like in that workflow.
And that's it, yo. Um, this tutorial got actually requested by Alex Motion, so uh, thanks to him, go check him out. He, he, I think he's a motion designer or something like that. Uh, I don't even want to shout out anyone, but thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, please. Uh, support the nigga, and uh, I'm out. Rap on this if I want to. They keep asking me what I'm. Rap on this if I want to. They keep asking me what I. Rap on this if I want to. They keep asking.